How's it going guys? Um, so I've just been playing with my new Victory V40 head for about 20-30 minutes now. Wow. Um, I'm not really a Strat guy, it's just the only guitar I have home at the moment. Um, I find them to be really spanky and sparkly and none of these sound like bad things but I don't really dig it. I'm more a PRS Les Paul sort of guy. Um, but I do like a few things about the Strat. Um, namely, the Position 4 setup. So, I've been playing and trying out the V40 and God, it's got a lot of low end. Like, um, this is the first... Uh, let's try and get a shot in here. This is the first amp I've ever owned where I've had the bass around 9 o'clock. Usually I'm the sort of guy, uh, like you can see my Laney down here. Actually, that's probably a better shot anyway. Um, that's the bass. That's sitting around 9 o'clock on the clean channel. I mean, this is for home use, so it's probably, you know, more than I would have it in a mix. Um, you know, about 7... Yeah, nearly three o'clock on the dirty channel. So, like I said, it's probably a bit, um, and with the residence on, it's probably that's probably more bassier than I would have it in a band setting, but not by much. I really like low end in my amps. Um, you can sort of see the. Sorry, I'm doing this with the reverse cam. You can sort of see the setup. I've just really, really quickly dialed in there. The reverb on this sounds amazing. It's very, very good digital spring emulation. Like, really good. Um, the mid kick is very cool. Uh, I'm not getting much crunch at all unless I sort of crank the volume all the way up, put it on low single-ended mode um, to really get the power tubes working and then just crank everything. But I imagine once I switch to humbuckers on a different guitar, that'll be better. Um, scooping the mids a little bit, which is unusual for me. Bass, like I said, even that's quite bassy. Probably bring a bit more treble in. So I'll set you down. Um, I don't know how this is going to sound through camera, but... Very nice. <laughs> Really good for slap stuff, even still, like, just a little bit too much bass. You can try, like, scooping the mids out. Maybe a bit of, got that mid kick on. That mid kick really does add in something a bit special in the low mids there. I quite like it and on this guitar at least, um, this is a Squire vintage modified um, with like a fully loaded Seymour Duncan SSL CTS pots, um, pick guard and blocking tuners that doesn't really matter but if you know anything about vintage modified, it's a pretty great guitar. Damn resonant guitar. Um, and I've never, like I said I'm, in my last video, I'm not really a Fender guy. Uh, or for amps, I mean. Um, and I know, like, I'm really digging voice one. I thought I'd really dig voice two more, but voice one with this, I guess it's meant to be like the whole, it's a black face, so Fender into a Fender. But God, it sounds good. I don't know if other people sort of pick it up and go, oh yeah, it's got that real black facey sound. I, you know, I'm, I'm more familiar with like an 800, JC 800 sort of sound. So I don't know if people pick it up and sort of go, oh yeah, like I'm used to that um, with its own little tweak. But for me, it's a whole nother world.
So the um, the reverb I've got pretty high up, which you probably can't hear. I don't even know how well you can hear this at all, but when you crank it. Gives you a really nice ambient sort of sound. about the v30 and the v40 that everyone keeps sort of asking about is is it loud enough the answer is yes absolutely um i've got this let's go back to the settings so i've got this with the the volume sort of around one o'clock the master sort of at like 10 30 um and I'm, I'm worried that the camera is probably going to get blown out i've also got the camera to the side of the cab um, also running through a Marshall uh, 2x12 vintage 36 series um, with V30s in it. Um, yeah, it's definitely loud enough. If you're the sort of guy like me that's used to 100 watt, 120 watt, just ridiculously high wattage amps, um, you'll find yourself feeling that the master volume is way... Like, uh, on my other amps, I've, I've never really had the master more than 9 o'clock. And that's for gigging, rehearsal volume, etc. You know, this I've got it, it's fairly high, but. Uh, it sounds great. And I mean, like, it's one of those sort of ants where the more you turn the volume up, um, as opposed to the master. So I might just refer to it as the gain. The more you turn the gain up, as opposed to the master. Um, the louder it gets. It's just headroom for days. Like, I can see why this will take pedals well. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any... I don't have a second instrument lead uh, with me at the moment. It's all at my rehearsal studio. But I'll give you a quick little... So, the same settings. Uh, this is voice two. Oops. Turn that reverb off. And voice one. Excuse my horrible playing. Um, I prefer voice. Voice one on this, I guess it's that fender into a fender. Um, what else can I say about it? It's it's definitely what I was looking for. I mean, in all honesty, if I could get this clean channel and the V30's dirt channel in one amp and the same size, which I know is probably impossible, but if you could do like some sort of push-pull knob thing, so like uh, channel one would be like you know, the knobs on it as they are on the, the front of the amp and then channel two, you'd sort of pull the, the pot, sorry, um, and then reset it. Um, that's your two different channels. That would be pretty cool, but probably not feasible. Um, I'm, I'm really keen to try it with pedals, which will be the next video, especially this one, um, which is shout out to my mate Jules from... Uh, Medor mobs, Medor amps, Medor, I don't actually remember how to pronounce his last name. This is a fuzz zone, so it's actually a metal zone um, that has been turned into something good. <laughs> it's uh, it's basically got that sort of Russian big muff vibe to it. You can also like use it as a clean boost. Um, it doesn't sound anything like a... Uh, a metal zone at all like it's it's a completely different pedal um, uh, 
So yeah, I'm keen to try that out as well as some other stuff like uh, I've got a Del Mar, Bondi FX Del Mar, which I think would sound pretty interesting through it. And of course my um, Earthquake and Devices Talons, which is sort of based off an orange amp from what I understand, but I got it, I tried it once into my Igniter, into the first channel, and got it sounding pretty similar to the second channel, albeit a little fizzy in the top end. This thing doesn't seem to have any of that top end that needs to be tamed. Every amp I've ever got, I've always liked, I've liked the sound of it overall, except I've always been trying to tame that really bitey top end. Uh, and I'm not a big fuzz guy. I mean, surprise, this, this and the Earthquake Devices Bellows are probably the only fuzz pedals I have. Oh God, it's a good sounding amp. I mean, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm not a Fender guy. A, you know, Strat guy. So um, it's a good amp when you can't stop playing it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's the, the Victory V40. First impressions. I'm definitely, I mean, I, I'm waiting to see what I think of how it takes pedals, but I'll be surprised if it doesn't take them. I mean, I've watched a million reviews and it seems to be, um, you know, it takes them, but eats them up. Uh, and... The, most of the reviews I've seen of any amp, of any pedal, anything like that, that sound good, sound way better in real life. Obviously, it's not mic'd up, and right, right, you can get the real feel for it. Um, yeah, first impression of this amp is it's what I wanted, really. I mean, it sucks it's not two-channel. I would really like a, a second JCM 800E sort of channel on it, or even just something with a bit more gain. Um, you know, lose the reverb, gain some, put some gain, gain some gain. But anyway, first impression, amazing amp, Victory V40 from the Rockin. The Rockin, WA. Uh, excellent. So stoked. Cheers, guys.